first left back on the on ramp? Yeah, first okay. left. <coughs> yeah, sorry there's no AC, but Pennsylvania is oh, obviously yeah, a lot cooler than Phoenix. Oh, yeah. I'm, this feels like better than my AC right here. Gotta make sure there's no cracks in that dash. Okay, good, we're still minty black. <laughs> That's the hardest part with these damn yeah, cars. I know, well there's certain, I'm sure Drew, this situation's the same with Tornado, like every one of them is prone to certain issues. For Legends, it's crashed, cracked dashboards, cracked vent trim, uh, just little cosmetic things, but these cars are getting 25 years old, so. Well, as long as you don't touch to the, the center vents, you're good. Yeah. Like, don't ever adjust it. It's it's right. forward facing. That's it. Yeah. I just hope somebody pulls up next to it and be like, "Hey, okay, Tyson, you got to beat him just because it'd be funny." <laughs> it is kind of a sleeper. If you threw some stock wheels on it, oh yeah, you would never know. Catch people by surprise. It catches people all the time when we were up at the shop, and everybody's like, "What the fuck is that piece of shit here for?" I'm like, "Pop to it." They're like, "Oh, damn." Like, yeah. It's so low to the ground, I feel like this Fusion next to us is an SUV. Yeah. Well, you should have seen it, like, if a semi comes next to us, you're almost under it. Like, if you took off, like, a foot, you'd be under the semi. And that's pretty fucking low, I think. Yeah. Especially for a legend, I mean, it's a big car. Big car, you say? Big car. Yeah, you're talking to the guy that drives... Well... I drive a... I drive a... <laughs> Well, we always used to call this the Grandpa Yacht, so, I mean, it's pretty big in itself. And that's why I was like, I want to see where you're actually power wise. I'm like, you're hitting like four pounds of boost. <laughs> that's about it. So it's capable of how much more than that? Like double? Uh, it'll go up to about 19 ish. Yeah. That's the record. Nobody's pushed more boost than that. I mean, yeah. I've pushed a little bit more, but the tuner wasn't doing anything. We could drive cross country in this, the six gear. Yeah, it idles at like 20, 2300, whatever you're at. FYI, the speed is not accurate. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was going a little faster than what it said. Well, <laughs> I think I'm the only person that's ever experienced this. The car sits so long, the speedo actually gets slow. Uh, Once you wrap it over 100 a couple times, it'll actually go back to accuracy. Yeah, interesting. So I'm going to take 19 to Cranberry, right? Uh, yeah. You're going to want to take this first. It's probably this first one's a lot easier. Yeah. I think there was a Cars and Coffee here today. And I was like, oh, we can take it to Cars and Coffee. I've taken it there once. Because so I was like, eh. But it's too late. I know they're already gone. Yeah. Ours wrap up really early, just weather-wise. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's hot. It's <laughs> Yeah, if we would have taken the next exit, it's all like super steep uphill, lots yeah. of stop signs, and like, yeah, we'll just save yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it came up from Pittsburgh. I kind of get a feel for the city now, you know? It takes a couple days till you figure out the main freeways and stuff. Yeah. It's really not been bad at all. That's where I like living where I live, because I got access to all the main freeways. Yeah. I could be anywhere within 45 minutes. And last night, Bruce Fifth Gear, there it is. Last night he took me up to uh, Mount Washington and the little incline. Yeah, it was actually running and we drove underneath it. It was pretty cool. Yeah, the incline's cool. That's why I was saying. I didn't know what you guys were doing or what your plans were. I was like, dude, I'll tell you all the cool spots to go. Yeah. Like, whatever you're into. Like, I, I know yeah. where it's at. Man, the 
throttle's got a, a very responsive too. Well, it kind of does. To me, it's laggy. Yeah. But I'm used to drive-by-wire and the Kia and yeah. everything. I want to convert this to drive-by-wire just so it's a lot more one-to-one -one ratio type stuff. Right. Why the fuck is there got to be a red light and why do we have to turn at it? <laughs> I think we should put this Subaru guy to shame. I kind of think you should. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone the way we are. <laughs> oh, fucker. We're in good company at least. Yeah. Maybe these guys are all departing cars and coffee or yeah, something. They are. That's where they literally come up. CTSB Oh, that's Anthony. Bar. Whatever. Fucking name is. Funny part is we can beat the shit out of the Subaru, beat the shit out of the F-Type, and the M5. <laughs> uh, yeah, they'd be like, what the hell just happened? thousand miles am I gonna get out of those? Yeah, not long. Not very many. <laughs> oh, I don't care. The first oh, night I... Oh, dude. The, like I said, it, it's fun toy. It's supposed yeah. to be beaten on. Hell, the first time I picked it up with Tom and Lenny for Tri-State, I did like a 10 second burnout just to try and leave a stop sign by mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I just revved it up to be funny and I'm like, oops, we've got to go. <laughs> this this <is> sucks. <laughs> Actually, that that Impala is no slouch either. I mean, oh, I know that that's a V6 one, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's capable. Ooh. What else you got going on this weekend? Well, now that I have Might a bunch take the of car back. No, I'm, I'm probably gonna leave it here for a week. Yeah, just fuck around with it. I, I like I said, I never see the damn thing. Well, I'm glad I gave you an excuse to bring it down. Oh yeah, it's always a good excuse like, oh, legend guy, I gotta get the car ready. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was like, I'm going up there at 11.30 at night, I'm like, just fucking, just start the thing, just put it on the charger, we'll yeah. just get it going. But hey, I'm proud, dude, for like, literally sitting a year, there's no, it's been, yeah, like, there's no issues at all. And maybe it's a good chance, did you fill up the gas last night, so it's pretty fresh gas? No, it, it because the fuel pump setup, I can only go about a half a tank. But it was E9, it was E79, it wasn't really diluted. I mean, there's a little bit of water in it, but it'll flush out. Yeah. I mean, I'll, when I actually care about the doing it, I'll change the filters, flow the injectors again, and then it'll be fine. Right. And then it's uh, left here or straight? I guess uh, we go straight. Yeah, here. you want to go straight. Going left would involve meeting Mr. Police. Yeah, as you can tell, the uh, the lovely inspection sticker is the one from Ikea, and it's just oh. stuck to the windshield. <laughs> that works. All right, buddy, go for it. <laughs> My car doesn't make that sound. <laughs> You can make it happen. I don't know how long it would last at 500 some thousand miles, yeah, but that that car would take one what? look at that <laughs> equipment and say, "No, thanks. You're done." Yeah, it would be like, yeah, "Peace out." Yeah, is it left here? <laughs> left here. Okay. These homes are awesome. Yeah, this is lovely cranberry. So, well, it kind of throws me off because my Super 8 right there says Mars on the telephone, and then your seven fields, right? Yeah. Well, and this there's cramped. Like, how is every little town within a few mile radius named something different? So what happens? How it is everywhere around here. Well, no, because so well, the seven fields is a unique thing. It used to be just like a housing development, but it's a housing development that got so big it became its own to borough. Yeah. So right. like we have our own police department, blah blah blah, because we're just big. Um, obviously, you're looking at houses that are five, six hundred thousand dollars, million dollars yeah. all over. So, but Mars is its own entity. Cranberry is its own entity. Hmm. Um, in between there, you have what's called Adams Ridge, which is another big development, but it's not big enough to be uh, like an actual borough. Yeah. 
But like seven fields is massive. Yeah, it's left here. Yep. Out, out my way, we've got. I have a rental property, oh, maybe seven miles from my house, and I and, and driving from my house to that rental property, I I actually go through just as many uh, townships. I go through seven townships just on my way from one to the other. Yeah, you said you're from like Forest Hills, yeah, so where's Forest your rental? Hills, so I go through Forest Hills, Churchill, Turtle Creek, North of Sales, Wilmerding, and they're all, there's, a, there's another one in there, Shelfon. Um, but they're all their own little townships. Each with their own mayor. What a nightmare for the Postal Service, though. If somebody yeah. sends... Oh, a lot of those places, they still walk the mail. Yeah. Oh yeah, mine, left mine, again. Mine, no, mine, no, yeah, keep going straight. You got a stop sign. You get so lost in here. So you can make a right. You can make the immediate left if you want to hurry up and turn over. If not, have fun. Make one little rip, and then you can put it back. Okay. Days. Not me. I don't do anything Actually, like that. Actually, I want to get a picture with you. Maybe like right here in front of the... Uh, shoot. Uh, right here because it's better than being in a parking stall. So, Drew, will you take one? 